We are now, and we are now on the YouTube channels. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Studio City After Show. I am James Live Jr., the JLJ of JLJ Media, and I get to bring out one of my friends. Because on this show, I know so many people on this show. It's not, it's not even funny. I know all the folks that are on there just about, and I love <laughs> all. They're all just so talented and good. And he showed up, and I, I can't remember if you told me you were doing it or not. All of a sudden, I'm just like, oh, I know him. Um, yeah, no, it, it was a surprise. <laughs> It was a surprise. Okay, because I, I was like, I don't think I don't think you told me that. I was like, because you weren't even in LA. That's why I talked to you. You weren't even in LA yet. Um, right. Emmy winner, Justin Torkelson. Justin Torkelson, how are you? Hey, everybody. I'm good, man. How are you? It's so good to see you. It's been, when we talked last summer, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I know that crazy. I know. And so you weren't even here yet. You were still, you were still in Colorado. Yeah. I was still so, hiding out in Colorado and quarantining and whatever. And now we're back here and quarantining. It's the same. <laughs> Just a different location. <laughs> That's so funny. But what's it like being back in LA, though? What's it like for you guys? Oh, I love being in LA. I mean, LA is, you know, it's my spiritual home. It's where I've spent the majority of my life. I'm an actor. I need to be in LA. It's where I thrive. It's my place. Period. Colorado is beautiful, but it's not, it's not a, where I work, you know? Yeah, I remember you were, no, you said that before. We would talk to off camera once and you were saying, yeah, you want to get back to, you want to get back into the hustle and bustle of stuff when it comes to the acting yeah. part. It's beautiful where you, where you were. It was beautiful. All those pictures and videos. Totally beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's it's gorgeous, but there's not a lot of the entertainment industry unless you go up to Aspen, but that's just for vacation. So it's, you know, if you want to be in the business, you got to be here, maybe New York, but really it's LA. So I'm, I'm so, so happy to be back here. So everybody in chat room, we got Angelique, we have Andy Theo, Kirsten Marie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You know, you know Hi, everybody. Oh no, yes, they I love do. You support you. They're coming in. So if you guys have any questions, you go ahead and ask, and I'll, I'll ask them. So, if you have any questions? All right. here. That's it, Angie. So I'm so glad you joined Studio City and reunited with Sean. Yeah, I mean, like, so we'll start off with that. We'll start with the, yes. this thing where, but first, folks, you see behind us is Emmy. There is a story about the Emmy being on Studio City, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was <laughs> yeah. it was ran Well, the whole thing was random. I I've been back in LA for a little while. Um, and I literally got a call out of the blue. Basically, it was from Sean and his wife. And, you know, they make Studio City. And it was like, hey, are you around? You want to come over tomorrow and play? <laughs> and I was like, absolutely. You know, I, it had been a while since Sean and I had seen each other. And Angie, bless her heart, she actually put us together. And oh, um, Angie, there you go. Okay, Angie. Yeah, okay. exactly. She, 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 uh, she was like, you need to get back in touch with Sean and da-da-da-da-da. And it just all, the timing all worked out. And, and it was one of those things where it was like, show up come bring your Emmy. We're going to make some TV. Boom. That was it. No idea what we were doing. No clue. And we just went and just started making stuff. It was really, really fun. Now the thing is, um, so you don't have a huge part, but yeah. as we always say, there are no small parts. They really aren't. And because exactly you make, you make actually memorable because I, my thought was <laughs> you're playing a character. I've never seen you play before. Kind of Absolutely. Just, kind of this. I mean, how, okay. Wait, actually, how would you describe him? Jacob? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, I don't know how I would describe the character. You know, it was really funny um, because it just, it came so fast. It wasn't, it's not like we sat and we were developing a character and we were figuring out, it was like, all right, we need an assistant and okay, Justin, do this. And, and let's figure out something fun to do. And, you know, I was like, well, I need, I wanted to try and add something kind of goofy or awkward or something to this character just to give him something. Like you said, there isn't a small part there's no small parts that you can have fun with anything you can have fun even without speaking that's even more challenging if there's nothing that's, to say yeah. yeah and um so I just took it as a chance and you know Carolyn and I had so much fun just talking about random ideas and you know the, the hope is maybe season two there will be some revenge on on the on the nephew assistance part or something you just never know we were like let's leave it open for some fun I don't know. It's it, the thing about it is working there. It was like getting with a family. Everybody was so awesome. And we had such a good time. I was just, I was just, you know, grateful to be there and, and get my feet wet again. Yeah, every, person, every person is talented on that cast. I mean, like, yeah. it's just completely amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's an incredibly everyone, talented everyone. cast. It's just loaded with, with very, very good actors. Some of the performances I got to watch just sitting and, you know, hanging out on set and, you know, helping out, out was just inspiring, continued to inspire me to get back into this because this is what I love and I'm meant to do. And watching them told, it reinforced that for me, basically. Well, you know, Sean mentioned how, because I've had Sean on the show and he mentioned, he's my, he's my other buddy. Uh, yeah. he's, he mentioned how you did pitch it and help. It was like, it was like Justin was like, what do you need? Oh, I mean, you kind <laughs> yeah. of did some PA-esque PA, PA work also. I mean, like, you, you really were, you were there to help, right? 
Absolutely. I was there to help. When I got there, I brought my Emmy, as I was told to do, and I put it down and I said, what can I do? Um, getting to be on set and getting to work on set is, A, it's a privilege, and B, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my happiest places on earth. So if there's any way I can be on there helping and helping make something so cool, something as cool as Studio City, why not? You know, I'll do anything and everything that I can to help out. You know, because it's not like I didn't have huge monologues and tons and tons of dialogue to prepare and like something deep to get into. So if I'm just going to be sitting there, why not, you know, pitch in a hand and make some really cool TV? Yeah, no, it's funny because um, I was on set for the first time in December. I had been on the mm. set and I mean, like the whole, the whole pandemic. Yeah. I love the smell of being on set, yep. the different smell. Yep. I love seeing all the people. I love seeing crew members. It was like, it's just like, I took it for granted, I guess. I took it for granted. I just exactly. didn't realize how much I missed it. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's 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 like crazy. this, it's this little club and you're right. It's the scent. It's the, it's, it's all the sensations that make it. Cause you're on a set. It smells like dust and electronics and ozone. And yeah, yes. It's, yeah, yes. it's a very yes. distinct smell. And when you get it, it's like, breathe it in. <laughs> No, seriously, no, it is. It is. It's. I, I, but, but I never thought about before until I came back. Oh, after being, after having been taken away from you, so to speak. It's true. It like, it's true. I missed that. I totally missed yeah, that. So it was one. It's so true. I really missed that. Yeah. It, it, it was. It was a great place to be back, and I couldn't have really um, asked for a better place to go back and kind of, you know, dip my feet in the water and kind of get going than someplace, you know, someplace like Studio City, working with Sean, one of my closest, oldest friends in this industry. You know, and it's really, it's been fun working with him because it, it just kind of slid right back in. And like, you know, we were over at their house for dinner the other day, you know, like Outback, social distance dinner, you know, it was, we're allowed to do in LA now. Yes. You, you just slide yes, back yes. into this friendship and, and it's just natural. There's no awkwardness, there's nothing. And so it was really fun. I mean, we're like talking about fun things we can do. It's been, it's been a very good experience. Yeah, Sean, you know, Sean's my, my closest friends. Him and Michelle are just mm -hmm. great people. And it's, they great are, people. They're, they're easy to they're great people I mean, and they work and they, they, yeah they're, they're genius i mean they work they're, they're always creating stuff which is brilliant i mean that's what you got to be doing and especially in this time in this industry with all the platforms and things just keep creating yes. keep creating um you worked with my buddy who i love my life itself carolyn hennessy she is a, <laughs> a firecracker in real life and on yes. as an actress i mean as an actor so yeah she, okay, she's, you got a, she's a force of nature <laughs> Yes, she is. I love her pieces. I, I love her to what, pieces. I mean, I'm like, oh, oh we, she and I go she, way back. We go way back. Do you? I she's her. she's a beautiful, beautiful person. Her personality, she's just incredible. And I mean, it was like, Sean was like, you're playing her. As, it might have been Michelle. It was like, you're her assistant. Figure out what you guys are going to do. Let's make some stuff happen. And she's like, hey, honey, sit your ass down. Let's make some television, you know. And then we just started working and talking about ideas and this and that. And you know, we didn't get to do half of the ideas we came up with just because we were a limit on time and, and getting exactly what we needed to get. But it was just the creative process was so fun. And I mean, she does the trapeze and she's like, come over and learn trapeze. And I'm the type of person that'll do that. Like, I need to go over to her house and learn some trapeze because that's awesome. We had so I know much fun. I know you would. I know you would. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It sounds fun. I watch her. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. You'll watch um, it. You'll like, watch from a safe distance. <laughs> yes. I can see you. Do, I can see you doing it. I can see you trying it. Uh, she's, yeah, so, she's so good at it. Too. yeah it's it's she's inspiring on that and you know i mean she just keeps going and she loves animals and all these things i wanted to meet my wife like i think they're going to be best friends forever like <laughs> like you need to meet my wife and then we're all going to hang out oh it's yeah, going to be fun <laughs> yeah oh oh you know totally but she has some there's some lines that she says to you, <laughs> to you that are hilarious and i'm oh, like yeah. I, was, and I, I was just thinking keep a straight face when she's like saying that she my I mean, all these things she's saying to you when you wake her up that whole scene when you wake her up it's like it's just oh my well, she's oh it's awesome whatever, it's like, she's so brilliant and like i really wanted to play this trepidation and this fear of of, of waking up this dragon woman because she's been very explicit do not interrupt me and you have to do this and i'm like you know she's gonna kill me but i have to because it's an emergency and Mind you, when she said this to me, I think I had met her maybe five or 10 minutes before. Like we hadn't become <laughs> fast friends yet. Like I had showed up on set. I was getting to know my way around. She comes in after hair and makeup and she's yelling at me about shaving the hair off her, you know, on her ass. And I was like, okay, we're going to be friends. And that was that. And we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know. I love it. 
he was he was hilarious. Um, yes. So have you watched have you watched the series, the episodes? Have you I have. Them? I've I've watched. I I, I want to say. I think there's some major props going out to Ron Moss <laughs> for his epic yes. performance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk about another ex Ron's a friend of mine too. Ron Devin, a friend yeah. of mine also. Oh, love oh, it. My Ron. It was oh, great. My God. I, I missed it. It like I missed it live in person. I literally rolled oh. on the set the day after they filmed that, which is bummer because oh, I wanted God. to see Ron. I'm gonna call him. I was gonna him ask you. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> your brother, yeah. your half brother. My Ron, half brother. I, I, we yes. haven't seen each other for a while. We we haven't talked for a bit. I my next thing will be getting in touch with him. When, Windsor and I talk all the time, and you know, I'm in touch with some people. Oh, yeah. But I was so bummed that I missed out on Ron because <laughs> it, 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 I would have loved to have seen that performance in person. And I don't know how Sean kept, you know, I don't know how Sean kept a straight face when Ron, he's just doing his thing and the, kar oh, the karate. And how is Sean keeping a straight face during this? Like, it was I I awesome. I told him, I said, <laughs> he, I, said that, I said, Sean's good. And I go, when he says, his character says to you, I'm gonna teach you how to act. And yeah. his face, I'm like, how do you just not burst out in laughter? Because Ron yeah. Moss and I have talked about his the whole acting thing. I thought it was hilarious. I just thought it was oh. like Sean. It's, a, it's an Emmy just for keeping it straight. Uh, it was brilliant. I, there's there's a guest star Emmy nomination, I believe. Oh yeah. For that, it was epic. Period. Completely, you know, I mean, completely. all the don't get me wrong, all the performances were great. I mean, there's there's things that dry. What's good about it is there's parts that dry your emotions. You know, watching the struggle with the drinking and these things and you, you watch this struggle, but then there's things that are just straight up funny. And then coming from this, the daytime world, you know, some of the little things that maybe some people don't get, and I'm sitting there watching and it's just funny. You know, these little ticks that you deal with in daytime that, that, that Sean's character has to go through. And there was a few, a few of the hospital scenes. I was actually in the background in full scrubs. You probably couldn't see me. <laughs> it was oh, like, a look, let's, okay, yeah, look, it's a let's look for Justin thing. But so I'm sitting there watching it from the background live on set, acting like I'm typing up and there's just, you know, there's just some really funny things. Aaron and Sean in the emergency room, when he finds out he doesn't have cancer. I mean, just these things are just so funny. It's just funny because you're like, it's so soapy. He, he hits it right on the head. They do. And they, even the lighting, because when they do, when you're when they do the hearts on fire set, it's bright, yep. it's light. Yep. But the rest yep. of the sets are much more film noir, dark. Yeah, it's really dark fun. and moody. Timothy, and then you're on the set. Timothy's great. <laughs> Timothy Woodward's good. He's good at the, the director. Oh, he's good at that. He's excellent. Watching him direct and his process was was uh, was really a privilege. I mean, he just has the whole thing laid out in his head. I mean, he's got his edits in his head. He's got everything he wants, and he just sits there and he's very specific. And he was able to on the crush that we were making this, he was able to really pull out something really good between him and Michelle and, and the work. I mean, Sean and I were in the back whipping up some scenes and writing stuff. We had so much fun. It was a long few days, but it was worth it. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's fun. It's almost like, kind of like the guerrilla filmmaking thing. It's like, it's kind of like, yep. you have, you have it, cause they, they had a dead, so folks, they had a deadline because the Emmy stuff was coming up and they had to get stuff in. Plus there's COVID stuff. So you gotta be really careful and safe. Yep. They had a doctor on set. There's a lot of things that were going on. Plus. Just get it done. Everybody's, everybody's yes. free right now. So get it done yeah. while everybody's free right now. Um, yeah. there's a lot, there was a lot going on, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. There was a lot going on. There's 20 million different things at once. We're prepping for the next thing, coming up with ideas. It was – but seeing this, I mean, it almost worked like a well-oiled machine and because it, it was such a quick, let's shoot this, let's get the material we need. Um, and when I came in, they were just trucking along. And it was some long days, but it was just worth it. You know, I'm 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 really I'm really looking forward to being involved when there's a season two. Like, however I can be, if I'm going back on set and helping out, I'm going just because I freaking love it. You know, it was an amazing experience. Well, I, I was I was asked to come on for season one. I couldn't make it happen. I, my schedule oh. was crazy. I told Sean, <laughs> season two, I will cancel everything and tell me in advance. You are there. Go, I'll be there. But oh, we'll, I was almost there with you. I was there. Dude, we'll carpool. I'll pick you up. We live close. You're like you're like 15 minutes away, I think. We'll carpool. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. we'll carpool up and do it. I, I said, next time, I mean, because you, you're right, because it was last minute, and I just couldn't. I had too many things, but I couldn't make it. I tried yeah, to get yeah. up, but I couldn't. Absolutely. Also, this is season two. Season two, folks. I hope season oh, two. for sure. For sure. The thing about the show, I think you might agree, is that it's not just your typical like web series. Like It's really filmed beautifully. It's, it is yes. a great comedy drama it's a, it really is right yeah I mean, absolutely it, yeah. it i mean you you invest in it and you follow it even with the quick episodes it's it's still 
it's really good. And the, and, and the short format works in a lot of ways because you watch it and you're like, oh, I want to watch the next one. Like when I first got back in touch with Sean over the over last summer, we were, when we first started chatting with each other, I immediately watched, you know, Studio City immediately. Um, and I was thoroughly impressed. And so when he actually, you know, when him and Michelle called me and like get over here to work on it, I was like, absolutely. Because it's, it's got a really good style. And I really love the dark and shadowy way that it's filmed. And then the juxtaposition of this bright soap opera with wooden dialogue and just sort of awkwardness. And it does, it brings in yeah, humor. It brings in, I mean, you cry, you, you giggle, like it's all there. You have a chuckle in every episode, but you're also, your heart's moved. It's, it's, it's well done. I mean, I'll tell you, looking at Sarah Joy Brown and Tristan Rogers. Yep. Oh my God, there's scenes. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm busting out loud. There's a scene, folks. You ever see? It's a scene with um with uh, when Sean first sees Ron and Devin, and and then Ron gets up and they have this whole exchange, and he leaves with maybe come back, which is a reference to his grand player and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Funny little reference, and I always I always call Ron. I loved it. I mean, anybody a little older, we know what that is. But I mean, Ron yes. is a rock star also. <laughs> Not just an actor. Absolutely. He's a rock star. Absolutely. He's he primarily a rock star. Yeah. Right. A right. Act, you know, rock star first, actor second. <laughs> right. right. And, and, I, and I always call Ron whenever I talk to him. He's the coolest dude in the room. I say that every time. I go, you're the coolest dude in the room. He knows it's when I say it to him. He just oozes. He's one of the nicest people, first of all, out there. Yep. But he yep. has that jawline. He has that oh, yeah. scar. He has the, he's like the coolest dude in the room, Justin. He's yeah, he, he's dude. just he's just buff and, and he looks good and he's awesome and he walks in and you're like, that folks is Ron Moss and that's all there is you can say about it. That's and, all there is to it, exactly. Yeah, you just you just give up because all the ladies look that way. You're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, let, me, let me ask you what, I mean, so some, there are folks in here asking me some bold questions, which I'll, which I'll answer some, we'll ask them some of these. Yeah. But what I want to ask you about is what is one memory just maybe behind the scenes with Ron that you remember back in your time on bold Ooh, one memory gosh I don't know what I can't it's hard to come up with one in particular Ron and I did some we did a lot of stuff together we were actually re really good friends um me and Ron and Windsor hung out a lot um and then Ron was sort of a I don't know, kind of a mentor in a way I mean he'd, be, he'd been in the business for a long time he knew how it worked he just knew his way around so he always just helped me he always had good advice we'd, we'd you know we'd go out for sushi like twice a week we'd go to the sushi place down the street from cbs television city and have sushi and and it was just really cool because he was a good friend in the sense that i was i mean i was talking with sean about this the other night at dinner i was a baby boy i mean i was 19 years old when i started that i was winning an emmy when i was 20 like all these right before i was 21 just all these crazy things were happening and luckily i had people like ron or susan flannery or something to help keep me grounded a bit and to give me some advice. Like, you know, the, the twice a week or once a week sushi with Ron was very, very, um, you know, important in my growth as an actor and a, as a young adult, just because he was there to give me some advice and help me deal with all this new stuff that was coming my way. Cause I was a little kid, I was so young. And I look back now and I realize, my God, um, I'm, it's a miracle I'm still here and a functional adult, <laughs> you know, the way the business and works. <laughs> Right, yeah. but you know what's so funny is that it's great that you recognize that that's invaluable. Like, they to have someone actually take an interest in you as a young actor and say, okay, I'll take it to my yeah. wing a little bit and I'll share some. Like, that's not, you know, that doesn't always happen. And there's there's sets that no. people don't talk to each other between takes. And we, I've been on sets exactly. where they, she's over here and he's over there. And like, you know, and then they come together. Oh, yeah. You have a very lucky experience. You know, you know, how, you know how it is. So, I mean, so yes. you had a very fortunate experience you had folks that actually looked out for it yeah it was an incredible experience and i think it was a very special and moment in time at golden beautiful i think that really helped and i was very lucky to be involved when we were in a big push to get actors emmys and to get the show recognized by the academy and all these things and i was there for all that and it wouldn't have been the same without people like ron you know he was a very yeah. first and foremost he was a, a good friend and then he was a co-worker and he taught me a lot you know just about life about everything he was really there you know, yeah. I, I him, him, John and Susan, I would always call them for any kind of advice that I, I needed if I was, you know, lost, basically. Yes. Yes. Yeah. As we are, when we're younger, things happen when we're younger, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you grow out of them. Hopefully you grow out of yes. them. As we yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I could imagine being 19, 20 years old right now. I mean, that, that seems like a long time ago. I don't even know. That right. That it's, it's amazing. It's like when you sit there and realize the 90s and early 2000s was so long ago, it's like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, time really goes fast. <laughs> it does. It does. Even it though does. this last year, even though this last year, 
seems like 10 years, but we start yeah. going backwards just in time. It's like, it just, it, it could like fast. Yeah, fast. before the pre-pandemic, now it's a little slow, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little slow, yeah. A little slower. All right, so, okay, so some else are chattering. What Kenneth Clark wanted to know, um, do you have, our, our buddy Adrienne Franz, well, I love her dad. So she just, she yeah. has her baby. She's like, she's working yes. it out. Um, she's so beautiful. Any any uh, Amber Rick member moments you liked? I'm so you had so many. You had so many. I know you had so oh many. Oh my but, uh, God! You know, there there was two times when Adrian and I really connected. There was the scene that Adrian and I both won our Emmy for. You know, because that was together, and that was when we lost little Eric. And there was just oh, a connection yes. there, and it was it was it was interesting because it was the opposite of a connection. We didn't come together. That was I hate you. I never want to see you again. But we hit this this moment and we both gave each other this space and it also happened the second time did we have dead twins or something remember there was like one little coffin do you remember this oh so, yeah there was so, yeah, there was, yeah there was okay you guys help out there i think i think it does sound yeah. let's, there was let's a ask baby, everybody there wasn't there was one like, was like two dead babies and a microphone. Story, like, <laughs> <laughs> but yes there was a, okay there was yeah. loss and, and Adrian and I were able to portray that really well together. And so there was the first time where we lost little Eric and it was like this, I hate you. I never want to see you, but we just the connection and the space we gave each other on that. And then the second time was the second loss of a baby. I think it was stillborn or something. And we were yeah. filming and there was like this tiny little casket and it was just like brutal. And that's, that was a coming together of, of Rick and Amber. And um, that was another one where we just, the, the intimate moment, the, the, the delicate moment of saying goodbye to our child and this, it really came together. And, you know, um, we really knocked that out of the park. As far as Adrian and I having fun, since we were Rick and Amber, we traveled the world together all over the place. And we just had a really good time. You know, we went to Belgium a lot for some reason. And we had a really great time in Belgium. <laughs> and Holland, we did Holland yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. love Holland. Yes, we love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are great Oh, it's good. Uh, Justin, those are great places to go. I mean, those are okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah. And then we can, we go, we get to see our friends. We get to see, you know, we see Angelique and, and Yoka and yes, all the, all the fun, the fun international friends. Hi, Angelique. I know you're watching today. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's, so. Saying, everybody's saying, yes, heartbreaking. There was just, yes, there was two babies, there was a dead baby. And it, yes, there was. Um, yes. I want to, I have my two cents. I, the one where you won the guys won the Emmy. The reason why it worked, I think, was also, even though you were falling apart, there would be felt the pain. You yeah. Convey the pain you each were feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it was a unique pain for everybody. I mean, it was, you know, Amber's pain was unique to Rick's pain. I always wondered what it was that was going through Adrian's head to help her get to that point, you know, because I had my, my method and you always wonder what other actors' methods are. Because to get yourself yeah. that far, like Rhonda, Rhonda Friedman, our supervising producer at the time, she came out and like gave me another go at it. She's like, she's like, that was good, but you got more in you. And I was like, yeah, I do. It's just, it's building up. <laughs> I'm getting upset right now. And then we filmed it and it's just like, Bleh, it all goes out. You know, I, so I always wondered what, what her process was. Like for me, it was just like, my life was new. I was stressed out, you know? What was her process? Like, cause, cause she just nailed it. And she hit that so hard and the individual pain and watching her pain made me feel more pain. You know, as you play off each other, it's like feeding a, a machine. That makes sense because when I when I interviewed Eric Braden, um, the Victor, Virginia, my buddy Eric, talks about that. <laughs> you, have to be present, you know, he's, he's a big a big guy. I love him to death. Um, you have to be present in the scene, and I think that's what yeah. you just said. You said I. She started feeling it. I always ask the like, when that person starts crying, how do you feel? He goes, well, I started crying too because I just looked into her eyes or his eyes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, was, that was it, right? That's that's not yep. about the. I guess it's about reacting. I guess. Acting yeah, acting. it is. It's it's it, they, they it's like they always like, joke and say acting is reacting. It's that kind of thing, and it is because you're, you know, you really are. You really listening. You have to really listen, you know. And and a lot of times you can find yourself not listening, thinking about what your next line is, and saying, oh, what am I saying next? So like my big thing is I'm always I know my dialogue, so I don't even have to think about it, and then that just lets you be more natural. And everybody's different. That's just how I roll with it. But. You know, for instance, with dialogue on Studio City, dialogue was coming in thick and fast and watching these actors, watching Kristen and Sarah, and they take these huge bits of dialogue and they just work it and work it. And while I'm running around, you know, doing PA stuff and helping out, you just see them just working it. And then they go and they're in the moment and you keep it quiet and boom, magic happens. But it's, you know, that's the beauty of daytime. <laughs> you can't know yeah, other actors to do question. that. Here's 10 pages. Memorize it. We're shooting oh, at yeah, 20. Eight, oh. <laughs> 
Tell it, Justin. That's right. Daytime actors know what it's like to have 60 pages of dialogue and then yeah. go to the next yeah. day. Yeah. And go to that's, that's, that, that pacing is not a joke. It's, it's no great. Sometimes they joke. buy the rehearsal. You know, you'll rehearse it. They'll, they'll film the rehearsal to practice cameras. And they'll be like, oh, it worked. Buy it. And you're like, what? I want to shoot it again. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I always say it's always when you ask actors later, what storyline? I'm like, a lot of times you guys just, just you, you're brain dumping. You're doing the scenes. You're doing the scene. You're doing the next yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. next episode. That like yeah. you know, I mean, you're like uh, the night, like you said, was there two dead babies? Like you don't know for sure. You don't exactly, remember. it's very hard to remember exactly what happened. You can remember, you know, big, you know, big pictures of what happened. You know, it, Rick and Amber went through this, and then lost the babies. Then there was some business stuff. But getting down to the specifics, especially when you do like 800 episodes or something, it's very hard to remember exactly what happened. You just, but but I can always remember the emotion. Like if I see a clip or I'm looking at something for a reel or I'm seeing like things oh, that really? will be on YouTube, you see a scene, like a scene between me and Brooke or something, I'll see that scene and I can really remember it. I can remember how I felt, you know? I, I might not remember what the scene was about, but I'll remember how I felt, betrayed or whatever it was at the time. Yeah. Usually betrayed, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> this is a soap we're talking about, folks. This is a soap. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. would do it. I want to ask you a question I've never asked. I don't think I've ever asked anybody. Yeah. When you're on set, how do you tune out the crew and everybody? When you, when you, have, mm. when you, have, a serious, you have a serious scene. Comedy scenes are one thing. You're kind of performing them. When you have a serious yeah. scene, you said a heartbreaking scene, how do you tune out the, 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 the boom mics here and the camera? I mean, how do you tune all that out? To do the scene? That's a good question. You know, that's a good one. It's It's, for me at least, I've found... The crew, when, when you have like the crew on Bold and Beautiful, for instance, was amazing. The crew on Studio City was amazing. When you get a good crew, you get this gelled group of people and they just work well together. And, you know, you'll get, you'll get your supervising producer will usually ask for quiet on the set. But, you know, the crew is super respectful of that. So when you've got something real heavy, like, you know, losing your baby or whatever, it may be something really heavy. It tends to get real quiet. You know, even in rehearsal, you can hear a pin drop. And it's, it's, it's a really beautiful sign of respect because the crew could be running around doing what they need to do. And when we're filming more normal stuff, you know, a three page scene, that's kind of an arc, you know, it's not necessarily, there's nothing really heavy. You can see, you, you can kind of hear them kind of maybe moving some stuff on another set or something, or, you know, doing things. But when it gets serious, everybody really buckles down and it gets real quiet, you know? And, and, and if, if people are worked up, like on, on Studio City, for instance, we had a lot to do. So we were working really hard on other things up until the moment we shoot. But the second rehearsal comes, it is absolute silence, you know, for the, for the really heavy things. The comedy things, like you said, it's more performative and maybe you rewrite your dialogue to try and make the crew laugh while you're rehearsing, you know, it's, it's different. But the heavy stuff, you know, a good, a good set is a respectful place for everybody. Just like an actor should respect what a crew member has to do and what they need to do to get their job done, you know, and they respect the actors and it's a healthy environment. That makes sense. Great, great answer. I, mean, I figured this was what it kind of was. I wasn't sure. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, you know, because you're you seriously, you, you're saying you have to be present in that scene, whatever that scene yeah. is. All you actors have to do this to re and perform the dialogue, make it natural, do all that. But then, you yeah. know, the phone's ringing over here and somebody's over here talking to me. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's always wonder what that was like. It's like, you're like, can yeah. I say the comedy scenes or, or lesser scenes that are not that emotional? You think yeah. Like, you have those. Well, what it is, like, you know, boom mics and things those are the kind of things you it's almost like the excitement it's like you know you're on a set when you see the boom coming in trying to figure out if it's getting in shot or not and you know you're on the set and it's like and that's something i think i never really got used to you'll be in the middle of dialogue in rehearsal maybe but then you'll just see like a boom come in <laughs> <laughs> it's like right there and then it wiggles around a bit he's trying to figure it out where it, and he's looking at the monitor and you know it's kind of funny but yeah when it comes to like yeah. the the serious stuff everyone gets Everyone really buckles down and gets serious, which is, it's, it's great. Now you actually, um, we talked to some other, but I'm not on this show to talk about, but you did visit the set of Bold and Beautiful. Was it last year? year was, before last? Maybe year before last or beginning of last year, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah. I think it was very end and of last folks, year. Of course, folks were talking. Yeah. Folks yes, were talking. Folks. They, could, they want the character folks. Rick back and you're one, you're one, one of the Ricks. Ricks. Yeah, yeah. The you Ricks. know what? If 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 uh if they want Rick back, they can more than welcome to give me a call. Absolutely, you know Rick was a great character to play. I'm I'm here doing my thing, and uh, Rick's an amazing character and a lot of good challenges. You never know. <laughs> when I went, it was just it was just to visit some old friends. <laughs> See you guys, you guys, you just visit some friends. That's all he was doing. <laughs> I was talking. 
But I say, but, but I think I think people understand that in daytime there are a lot of friendships that that are just it's a small yes. community. And well, it is. It's a, it, yeah, it is. It's a small community because you're with each other all the time. You you work all the time, and it's and it's close. And even the New York Stokes, you know, they're not there's not a lot of them anymore. But we all meet up at the Emmys. We all talk to each other because we know each other, and we're in the same business. And um, yeah, you know, <laughs> you just yes, never. Folks, know. It's a know, small know, world. Folks. We know, folks. We know. Everybody's excited. They want like, we know. <laughs> but right now, he's doing his thing. He's back in L.A. Um, so the question, I guess, comes because now it's we're in this kind of strange time period that it looks like it might be opening up a little bit, starting to open up a little bit. What is what? What's going on for you in L.A.? I mean, you have Studio City, of course. So what? What do you think is going on for you right now? Or do we now? Are we just kind of see what happens, or what's going on? Hang on. It's are you back? It's yeah, my back. On me. Everybody, this is live. Live, folks. This is live, folks. I can see uh -oh. you. Oh, oh, now he's gone. Now he's back. Now you're back. I, I'm trying to... There we go. It came back. That's the weirdest thing. It just completely cut out. Now I'm back. Okay. What were you saying? <laughs> it's, it's technology. It's technology, folks. I mean, this is 2021, yeah. and we still have bad technology. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> we still have lagging in Mars. The lagging internet. I don't even get it, Justin. I don't even get it. I'm like, I can build a house, but I have bad Wi-Fi. I have to, I have to it's, hump my router sometimes. To get good exactly. Wi -Fi. It's the nature of it. It's true. It's like, come on, please, please, router work. So, what did? You, what was your question? Because I, I completely missed. Oh yeah, it. yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm humping, humping my router. Sorry for the, the everybody out there for the the, the image. Um, sometimes it is. Like, no, Justin. It will say. No, just one second. It'll say bad internet connection go closer to the router and i'm like my router is right there like it's right exactly. there like I'm right exactly here. right so i'm gonna put my on top of it like, i'm gonna put my phone on the router yeah here's my laptop i'll set it right on top <laughs> oh well oh well, yes so anyway, so sorry folks but that's what makes me laugh like, always looks like okay, I get what's going on. Oh, okay the question now the question is you're back in la it's a strange time, but some things are opening up a little bit. Um, there's yeah. some stuff, there's some movement. There are things happening behind the scenes. I, I, did, I just did two auditions for a couple of things. So people are kind of doing things. Cool. Do Zoom, you know, like, so there's, there's stuff, there's movement still happening. Not a lot of yeah. filming. There is movement happening because they're anticipating what's going on. So what, is, so what yeah. does this mean for you? Right now? What's going on for you? You know, for me, I'm, um, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm, almost at square one. I'd say I'm at square two. You know, I've got my foot in the door. I've got my friends. I walked away for a long time. And, um, you know, it, for me, my, my, my big goal is representation, you know, and just getting myself out there, meeting people again, talking to people. And, and it's coming around now where you're finally going to eventually probably end of the summer, get to start meeting people in person and these kind of things. So it's, for me, it's just about reconnecting and like, you know, fostering old relationships that I may not have given enough attention to, you know, and that's on me. You know, I, I, I went through my thing. I went and grew up and lived my life and I'm back doing what I absolutely love to do. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hungry and I'm excited and I'm willing to do, you know, anything and everything I can to be an actor because that's what I love to do. I've got my side hustles and other things, but yeah. being an actor is what I love. Yes. And you're a good actor, so you should be doing it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That really means a lot. Seriously. seriously. And everybody, people, sometimes you need to go away for a while. Sometimes that happens. And you come back. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I, I, I feel like I went and kind of had like a transformation of Justin during the, there's like a Delta as a, as a male actor from like late twenties to mid thirties. There's just not a lot of stuff to do. You can't, you're not playing young anymore and you can't play a dad or a doctor or a cop. There's just not a lot to do. And I, I skipped all that and went and lived in Europe and went and did things and grew up. And now I'm back with some life experience. So I feel like I have more to offer, you know, than a bright eyed and bushy tailed 20 year old. So that's and where I'm at. You have, you, have beautiful, you have a beautiful wife and you're, you're happy. Yes, I you're do. Married, you're happy. You yep. do, you're I have happy. a gorgeous you know. wife, gorgeous life. Yes. I have a beautiful place living in Venice beach. I can't complain. I'm going to go on a run with my wife in about 20 minutes. I love it. <laughs> I know we're very, we're very like sorry folks in Texas and back east. Yeah, those you guys enjoy yeah. that cold today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I'll be outside later. I'm like, screw that noise. I'm exactly. Not in LA. I'm going running. <laughs> I know. I love it. I, I, as you and I both know, I love living on the west side of town. I love. I love being by the beach. I love all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm. Yeah, you can't get me out of here. I'm here now. No, I live the, no, like I, you. I live in places too. I'm back. Yeah, right. it's amazing. I had never. I've never lived West Side. I've lived. I've been living in LA on and off since I was 12 years old, from Burbank into Hollywood, Hollywood Hills. Lived in Santa Barbara for a while. Never West Side LA. I love it over here. Why did I live in I the know. hills? Like 
I lived in the hills all isolated by myself. It was all quiet for all, all my 20s. Hello, that was stupid. <laughs> I know for your 20. No, I actually probably saved you. I saved yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. I probably, yeah, I probably didn't get myself in too much trouble. <laughs> yes, it, it probably saved you, Justin. It probably saved, that was probably a good idea. Good point, James. I know good point. Like, I, I know how that, that works, but I'm just, but in a way, but in a way, I know what you mean. It's like, there's so much life over here. It's the weather's yeah. great over here. There's so much sympathy over here. It's, yeah. I don't, I like over here. I do. I can't, yeah. no valley for me, no North Hollywood. I'm here in the right? world. Bye. It's I great. Know. And I got to say, that's right you know, getting, being involved in Studio City and just reconnecting with Sean and, and getting to work with his wife, Michelle, and, and, and all the actors on that show, Aaron, and I mean, Sarah, everybody, everybody yeah. was a wonderful experience. And I couldn't have looked for a more exciting and happy way to just kind of get my feet wet and, and start doing this again. There was this no safer place to land than there to get started and go back on set. It was awesome. I like that. Justin Torkelson is my guest. Thank you so much for being on the show, my friend. We will see each other oh, soon. Now that yes, we've got to open things up again, we'll have to go get some lunch. meat and then hang Let's out. Let's go get some lunch. Open. For a while, there was nothing open. <laughs> Dude, you're always posting this amazing yes. food, so yeah. I need you to take me someplace where this amazing food is. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. Actually, now that now things are back open, I can't. But for a while, everything was exactly. closed down just for delivery. Now things are back yeah, open. Yeah. The weather's getting better again. So we will, we will yes. do that. But Justin, tell me where they can find you on the social medias. Oh, I'm at Justin underscore Torkelson on uh, Instagram. And then uh, Facebook is Justin Torkelson official. And I also have a regular Justin Torkelson page. And um, I have a Twitter, but I'm never on it. <laughs> I, I should know, really do that. I happen on there for you. We tag you and stuff, but you're not really on it. You're never on it. No, <laughs> I should probably, it's, 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 you know, learn that. My wife is really good at social media. I... <laughs> I'm there. It's like, yes, I do. Everybody's, yeah. like, yeah, Everybody's like, James, you post delicious food on your things all the time. So I know I do. I know I do. I he does. You do. Every time I'm like, I oh can't. my God, where is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, everybody, thank you so much, especially you folks in Europe who are watching right now. I know it's yeah. a different time zone for uh, for you. Uh, so we know. So Justin, I know, appreciates it. We appreciate it very much. Um, I'm JLJ Media. Studio City is on Amazon Prime Video. So, I mean, I'm telling you, run, don't check walk. it out. Watch all the episodes. check it out. It's really good. If you watch the first half, all right, I was going to say, I always got to say this. It is one full season now. It's not season two, it's one full season. Mm -hmm. They did one half, and they have a second half. So, it just, it just continues from episode six, it continues to 11. So, it's 11 episodes of this wonderful series. Go ahead and watch it. Leave a review, leave a comment. Rated five stars. Tell all your friends. Um, it helped. <laughs> tell all your friends. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. We want to see you. We want, we want Justin on there more next season. We want everybody. everybody. Tell everybody <laughs> what's going on. Um, and, and support the show. And, they're, they're nice people behind the scenes. Support the show. And then, I know there's a lot of soap fans. You would love this. If you're not even a soap fan, you would love it also. It's a yes. good story. There's some good stories on there. And it's a little behind the scenes in about the business. But if you're interested in Hollywood and how Hollywood runs, watch it they have some funny interesting stuff on there and about aging and women and it's all that all that stuff it's a very good commentary <laughs> it is it's very true <laughs> um so you want to watch it you know you know it is i mean every reports for character and sean it's very it's very true uh um, anyway yeah. and the studio city after show is on every week we talk about the shows i have more guests coming on i have more shows coming on because we support the show here on jlj media follow us on every streaming platform follow us on youtube on my network jlj media